Hi all, um, welcome to I Can Stutterman Week 5. Can't believe we're already on Week 5. Just as I always do, I'd like to say thanks a lot all for taking the time to view and watch. Um, the views have been going up again and obviously that's the whole point of this. The more there's the people to see it, hopefully people with a stutter like me or people in all si the situations in life that might want a bit of selfless confidence and support can watch these and help. So like I say, please like, share and put co those comments on. Um, in the previous weeks, I focused on more of the situations in life that maybe you struggle with a stutter and maybe p potential ways to help. And I uh, hopefully I have. Today, I'd like to focus a little bit more light heart this hearted actually on the opposite side, things that these situations that maybe you don't suffer from a stutter to have and obviously the successes in life that maybe you've had and things like that. Um, I've, I've read, read up a lot on a stutter and I still, as far as I'm aware, there isn't a cure for it. And I don't even know if there's an exact reason why you have one. It, some people say it can be to do with a trauma in life. It can just be a thing that you're born with. One thing which I've always found is funny um, because I like, music i love songs and when you sing you never stutter when you sing i don't know if that's just me or that's a thing but i think talking and singing comes from a different part of the brain so if you want to have a i don't know to try and have a bit of light heart there's hearted fun get this give it a go when i'm in the car i can't sing to save my life but i find it fun whenever i sing i've never ever had a problem with my stutter um I think that acting is the same. When you're portraying being something else or doing the something else, your stutter doesn't seem to come out. And I think it's to do with your speeches from one half of your brain and things like um, the theatrical side of your brain. Um, I don't know if that's the, the, the right word. is a different side. So the stutter doesn't seem to come out. Um, so, yeah, if any of you have had experience of this and if any of you know the reason why, please just feel free to share. That's what this um groups about it's all about the sharing and there's any experiences that you've had and if there's anything again that we feel that we can all help each other um there's a few successes i've had in my previous job i ran a news at this agent for a number of years and like i've said in quite a few of my previous videos um phone calls is my biggest problem with my stutter i seem to come over all this nervous and I, thought I, saw, I find it quite hard um, and I had to phone quite a few companies from the shop and I remember especially when people watch me make phone calls it obviously makes me extra nervous um, I used to oh, I used to really struggle to get simple words out on the phone because I'd work myself up into such a state before I made the phone call it, oh, it's like I almost made myself this, this stutter I know this sounds like a ne this negative thing but it, I'll get there and over months and making more and more calls, doing the same thing, confidence grows. By the time I left that job, I'd make these same those phone calls absolutely no problem at all. I think said the success of the side is just repetitive, but keep on. I know there's the old scenario of um, confront your fears. Well, actually, it, it seems to work for this for me. Um, doing it over and over again, eventually, it didn't become. And it this issue. I'm not saying that having a st the stutter is a mental it this illness in any sh shape or form, but as it's mental awareness week, I think actually a lot of it is in your head. And if you can, tr what I've done, the way that I've actually dealt with my stutter main is trained my head to realise it's not a problem, and actually it's nothing to be concerned about. So once I get in the situation that I understand. I feel comfortable and in control of the stutter goes um so i don't know if uh, there's, uh, there's any of these you guys could use that obviously changing your mindset it's very hard and like i said my stutter isn't bad and i haven't done this for for this for me i just thought it'd be nice to talk to people that have been through the same things and if your stutter's a lot worse than mine and you want to talk about it and there's anything that i can help you with or have then please say or just comment and share and like i said we can talk about all things on this group and everyone in the same place maybe we can help each other without giving each other others ideas um i suppose the same related in my new job as well um my job involves a lot of the speaking and the only thing i was concerned about in the tr 
training because I had to train for six months was the speaking. Nothing concerned me else at all. Exams, travelling, working hard, not one concern at all. I'm sure like many people with a stutter like me, the only thing we ever get concerned about is, oh my God, are people going to think I'm stupid? Are they going to make fun of me because I've got a stutter? And saying it on here, it sounds quite stupid because you would have thought adults don't really take and won't make fun of things like that. And I think the world as a whole is different. You know, everything's acceptable these, these days. And having a stutter, the stutter isn't a thing at all. It's just part of the people that we are. Um, but I've been doing this job for three years now, as I've mentioned before, I'm a financial advisor. Financial, <laughs> in this job, the ironic thing is financial was the word I really struggled with at the start. And I thought, oh my God, that's what my job is. I'm going to struggle to say this. To the extent of I didn't even tell these people what I did for a living at the start, they'd say, "What, what do you do for a living?" Someone would meet and I'd say, "I sell pensions and investments," because I could say that, so I wouldn't actually use a title of what my job was. And hopefully, some of you guys can relate to this because I think one thing people with a stutter do a lot is replace words with words they can say, which mean the same thing, which isn't bad at all. In fact, I, I would honestly say that's a really good thing to do if there's certain words you really do struggle with find a word that means the same thing and replace it is with that and just by doing that not only do you find it easier to get the words out you feel more confident in the same this conversation so again if there's anyone out there that's had any successes we've spoke about if there's any of these problems that we've got in the past if there's anyone out there's watching these that have had any successes um overcoming their stutter or things that you've used to help you get by please 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 share it there's comment like this post um i want to get out to as many people as we can and actually start to start this to become a thing um it's not just about a stutter if there's anything else you've got wrong or you feel is wrong there's with you and you just want a bit of sat to self help this group is a bit more like a fair there's therapy group as such and just to basically my whole point of this is everyone has things that they perceive as being wrong there's with them my honest view from one is it's nothing wrong it's just part there's part of you but actually talking about things maybe we can help to overcome the certain things that we think that we have in life and i just want this to be a way to do that um stuttering there was a program on the tv probably about a year ago which i watched and i found it really this powerful um people with a much worse stutter than mine and i, I found it, i found it hard to watch because i i feel what they're going through and it's not i mean i felt the guys much better there's braver than me and God, the things that they did, they were amazing. But it's just when you've been through something yourself and people are going through the same things, talking to people with the same things, I honestly believe helps. So like I said, I, was chat I did say at the start of this, this this would be a light heart, this hearted. And that's why the few work things I've got is, again, just confront it. Anything you find hard or you've got wrong, it, find the courage to confront it and then confront it confront it confront it and the more that you do i honestly feel you'll find it not only easier but you start to find it easier in all situations because you can and that's why i named this i can stutter man because the biggest thing i've learned in my life in the last four or five years mainly is you can anything that you want to do regardless of what you may feel is a problem about you or in your there's your life you can overcut this commit and if I just want to I just want to get that this message out there a bit and help you all to believe that whether you think you're fat thin you've got an illness a mental illness anything wrong with this with talking about things I honestly believe is the first step towards trying to move on with, with things and it's I know talking about things that you have always felt is something wrong with you is the hardest thing to do but it's the the best way to start so again thanks a lot for watching this really appreciate all the views go back and watch the previous videos i've done before and the only thing i haven't got yet is cut this comment so please 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 like comment and share and i will quite this happily take on board any of the subjects as anyone um, um suggesting this talk about it so thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you all again next week